So yeah, the truck that was coming towards us. All right, let me do my intro. My name is Jeremy Walton, and this is why I don't mess with autofocus. Let's go. Hey. I've been thinking about this topic for a while now, mostly because I use manual focus every day. And autofocus is a pretty big deal, like a really big deal to people, especially during a camera review. My ears won't pop. Now you might be wondering why I don't use autofocus. Is it because of the camera I use? Nope, autofocus has never really been a selling point for me for any camera I've purchased. I just don't use it. I have my reasons and I will get to them, but first I have about a two hour drive to Big Bear and I really wanna take in the scenery. So I'll be back in a few. I was a little worried it was gonna be really cold up here, but with this huge jacket on, I'm actually kind of warm. Being a filmmaker, you should really consume as much knowledge as you can, and setting everything to auto when you're learning really isn't beneficial. Even the seasoned filmmaker shouldn't do it all the time. It's how I learned and why autofocus really isn't a part of my life. Okay. We buy all this gear, we set our aperture, ISO, shutter, and then hit autofocus and let the camera take over. I get why people use it, and there is a time and place, but hear me out, let's cross the road right here. If you really want to understand what's going on when using different lenses and apertures in terms of focus and what an AC goes through, then give it a whirl. I think we'll go this way. It might take a bit to get the hang of it, but once you do it enough, it becomes second nature. You really can nail focus on the fly with good results and get creative with your focus pulse, babe. <laughs> When it comes to watching video on any platform, there's two things that drive me crazy. Bad sound and soft focus. It totally takes me out of the scene. For example, let me know if you've seen this before. Someone walks up to the camera and vlogs while being out of focus the entire time. All I can think about is when that autofocus is gonna kick in. Now, how about now? It'd be nice right now. What I would do is this. Set your focus, walk up, and be done with it. It only takes a few seconds and it saves you the pain of scrolling through your footage and realizing an entire scene has been ruined. Oof. Watch out. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> you gotta walk faster. All right, I'm gonna find some shade because the sun is killing me. And actually, I think back there looks good. these. Now autofocus is good and has come a long way, but not good enough to use 100% of the time. I see so many videos where it just doesn't hold up or has issues. I'm the kind of person that would reshoot something if it was completely out of focus, or just cry if it was a one-time deal. At least if I screwed up, I can only blame myself. Oh, my knees. Glasses back on. Now your style will also come into play. I'm not constantly vlogging and whipping my camera around to film other people all in one shot. Now autofocus can really help with that. Understanding distance can also help. I can be vlogging like this and then spin the camera around. I'm hungry. Back to me and know everything is in focus. It's just a matter of stepping forward or backwards to keep the same distance. Now it's time to find some food. Are you looking? Yes. All right, I have an idea. I can sit here and talk about autofocus all day, or I can have someone new to filmmaking do an entire B-roll sequence and show how quickly a beginner can learn how to pull focus. Babe, yeah. you, we, we can't wait. That. Hold on, am I should look at you or the camera? Me. Okay, let's go. Are watering. 
Can I have the camera back? Yes. She really is getting good. You know, I wanted to make this video because of how much autofocus is talked about, and I wanted to give my opinion and my POV about the subject. This is for the person that might be making a camera purchase soon and thinks they desperately need autofocus, or for the person that might just use it too much. There really is no right or wrong. You never know, autofocus might become so advanced, everybody uses it. As for now, if you can improve your skills and become a better filmmaker, how about giving manual a try? Well, there you have it. Why I don't use autofocus. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button because there's definitely more on the way. Subscribe so you don't miss out. But until then, comment below and let me know your style of filmmaking. And as for this episode, it's a wrap.